Hey there, it's Craig with Jumply, and I'm back again with some updates regarding Google Ad suspensions. Today we'll be looking at some clients who got suspended for suspicious payment activity. More recently, we've noticed here at Jumply, the suspicious payment activity is one of the most common reasons for clients coming to us regarding their account suspensions. And I believe that it's in no small part due to the fact that Google's algorithm is faulty and wrongfully suspending these accounts for the most part. So if we look at this account, 997-806-9348. We received that email that we love receiving here at Jumply. And that is, we have some good news for you. Our team has reviewed your account and based on your detailed appeal, we're happy to let you know your account has been reactivated. Awesome. I had submitted an appeal last week on the 6th of October for this account and not but a day later, Google had gotten back to us with this email. Awesome. That's what we love to see. But I did want to point out, Times for Google actually unsuspending these accounts after the appeal had been submitted can vary widely. And I'll go over that with you in just a second with relations to this other account, Electric Sports Company. But I did also want to point out that the reason that this customer had gotten suspended was because they had another account that was connected to their payment information. And what they had ended up doing is creating two accounts with the same payment information accidentally and the Google algorithm saw that and instead of deducing what was actually happening that this account and this account were doing two different things just with the same payment information, it flagged the account. And so that's something that I made sure to mention in the appeal, that these are just accounts that were made separately and they were made on accident, mind you, because what the customer was actually trying to do is create these accounts as sub-accounts under their main account when instead they accidentally creating them, created them as separate accounts with the same email address and payment information. And so that's pretty much what we did to get the account unsuspended is we mentioned it in the appeal. This is what happened. Customer didn't mean to. They were unaware of what they were doing. And they got back to us with the unsuspension notice for this account. And subsequently, they also unsuspended the other accounts. So that's always good news when we can get a two for one in there. Two accounts for the price of one appeal is awesome. But let me tell you, we got this account unsuspended within a day. And we are still yet waiting for this account, Electric Sports Company, 124-643-7529, since September 29th for the same exact violation, suspicious payments. And we still haven't heard anything back from Google regarding this appeal. Now. They do say that you can expect a response within five business days of your appeal. So what we do after five business days is we'll end up giving the Google Ads Policies team a, a call and we'll connect with the representative and we'll tell them, hey, we need you to raise a concern ticket regarding this appeal case. And so that's something I did last week, about midweek as well, is I ended up having to call Google because it's past that five day business threat or five business day threshold. I, and I had them raise a concern ticket. And usually they'll tell you, Hey, we'll get back to you in a few days with regards to this case. Well, now it's almost been a week later, and I still haven't heard anything back from them. So I just wanted to stress that point because it really does vary as far as the timing that Google gets back to you regarding your suspensions. Um, it's something that you have to keep in mind and be patient with. There's only so much you can do when it comes to these appeals, and we've pretty much done everything we could for this particular account. Yet for some reason, for the account that got suspended within a day and the other account got unsuspended within a day, we are having issues with this account for the same exact reason pretty much where the suspicious payment activity, Google's algorithm flagged it wrongfully it seemed like. We made sure the account details were all correct. We made sure that the payment information wasn't connected to external sources that might be suspicious, yada yada, same exact process. And yet, here we are still waiting two weeks later now for this account to be unsuspended. And I didn't even have to follow up with Google for the previous account. They just looked at it like, okay, it's unsuspended. Well, now what's taking them so long with this account? We don't know. Uh, Google doesn't make it very clear to you, and they don't have very good support when it comes to these appeals. And that's where Jumply comes in. We have to work with them to this extent where we have to go through this extraneous process to get these accounts unsuspended, and we have no idea what's going on for the most part. And so keep that in mind when working with anybody, including, you know, including Jeffly, or if you're doing it on your own, the response times vary greatly for suspension appeals. And all you can do is really just have patience, um, try to follow up with Google. Since it's been almost a week since I submitted the concern ticket for this account, 
Uh, I'm probably going to have to give them a call back this week. And you know what they'll probably tell me because I've done this hundreds of times before. They'll tell me you, either your account's still under review or submit another appeal. And that's pretty much it. All right. Thanks for your help, Google. It's so helpful. So, all right. Just wanted to uh, clarify that response times vary widely. And for this particular account here, you could have it where you get your account unsuspended within a day. And then for the same exact appeal process, it could take up to a couple weeks for the same suspension. All right. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.